Hey guys, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel and another positive metal outlook video. So guys, in this video, I want to talk about the importance of facing challenges in our lives and in particular how important this is for musicians. Now you're probably wondering why am I shooting this video here? And right here is actually one of my favorite places. It's the airport in Van Nuys, California. And the reason I'm here is I want to tell you guys a little story about uh, something that I went through in the past couple of years and it just really I think illustrates the importance of facing challenges in your life and how you can easily try and avoid challenges in your life but if you do that you're never you know you're never ultimately going to get uh, the most out of life and and you're never really going to be able to achieve your goals that way so anyway the reason I'm at the airport here is uh, I did my flight training here uh, basically last year and I don't know how many of you guys uh, already knew that I'm a private pilot. I've got a second channel called Heavy Metal Horizons that talks all about that stuff. But anyway, last year uh, I did my private pilot flight training here at one of the flight schools, the Flight Academy at Van Nuys, California, and it was a wonderful experience. It was awesome. It was something I wanted to do for a long, long time, many years. And I finally got it done, and it was just a great experience, and I'm, I'm really happy about it. But when I first started doing the training, something really important happened. Like on the second flight, basically, what happened? I started feeling sick, right? So we're up there, you know, the instructor is showing me how to do, uh, you know, the different maneuvers and so forth, and we're in a little bit of turbulence, and I start to get motion sickness. Now, I'd gotten motion sickness in the past, like if I'm, you know, a passenger in a car, or I'm like in the back seat, and the driver's just like, you know, all over the place, that kind of thing. You're getting thrown around in the back seat. Not like that, but you guys know what I mean. Um, anyway, and so I would get motion sickness in the past. But anyway, so I'm on like, like the second flight lesson and I start getting motion sickness. And the flight lesson ends and I go home and I'm thinking about it. And a natural reaction to that, you know, when you, when you get in a situation where you start to feel sick or something, or there's some problem, there's some challenge, a natural reaction to that is to be like, well, I'm never doing that again. That sucks. I don't want to experience that again, right? It's uncomfortable. It's a bad feeling. I want to avoid that. That's a natural way to react to it. But that is the bad way to react to it. That's the wrong way to react to it. And I was in a situation where I could avoid that problem. I could avoid the challenge. I could stay at home. I could not do the flight training, you know, and not put myself in that situation where I would start to get motion sick or uh, air sick. But then if I did that, it would mean I was never going to be able to reach my goal of getting a pilot's license. So in that case, the desire to reach the goal overpowered the desire to avoid the problem, to avoid facing that challenge. So I thought about that. I sort of went through that thought process in my head. I said, okay, I need to develop, basically develop the skill to not get sick like that. And so what did I do? So I started deliberately being a passenger more, uh, you know, like I would deliberately ride in the back seat of a car with a bad driver. And I would, uh, del you know, I would like go on roller coasters and anything like that that would push me into that uncomfortable feeling where I would start to get sick. And I would do it a little bit at a time, you know, you know a 10 minute car ride, a 20 minute car ride, 30 minute car ride, you know, go take an Uber, like ride in the back seat of a Prius. Okay. That'll make anybody sick. I would deliberately do things like that to put me in that situation. And over time, right, I built up a tolerance to it. And it was uncomfortable. It was a really, um, you know, it, it, it was like being a little bit sick every time I would do it. But over time, I built up a tolerance to it to the point where I could go and I could do the flight lessons and then I wouldn't get sick anymore. And then even the flight lessons themselves helped additionally, helped even more to build my tolerance. Now, it's still a work in progress because I did a uh, intro to aerobatic flight uh, a while back and I got really sick, but that was like doing, you know, loops and crazy stuff like that. So it's still a work in progress. But the whole point of the story is to illustrate the idea that anytime you're in a situation like that where you're faced with some kind of a challenge, you're faced with some kind of a problem, it's very easy and it's very natural to be like, well, I'm, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to stay away from that. I'm, I'm going to avoid that. But all that's doing is it's avoiding the challenge. And whatever goal is on the other side of that challenge, you're never going to be able to reach it. 
And the other thing to think about here is how damaging this is to you if you don't face the challenge, if you do take the path of avoidance. Now, if I had done that in this story here, if I had done that, I would have never been able to reach my goal. I would have never gotten my pilot's license. And I would have always, from then on, for the rest of my life, I would have been trying to avoid situations where I could possibly get motion sickness. I think of how limiting that is, right? You, you go through life with this, you know, I go, oh, I got to make sure I don't do this. I got to make sure I don't do that you end up limiting yourself to the point where you never try anything new, you never put yourself in any situations where, you know, there's uh, any uncertainty, anything like that, because, you know, you got to be careful, got to watch out that that thing you're trying to avoid doesn't happen. It's a terrible way to live. And this whole concept, this whole thing can show up in a lot of different situations. I mean, it could show up in any part, you know, any part of your life. Let's think about being a musician and, and bands and music for a while. Let's say there's a technique that you'd like to learn on guitar. Let's say you want to learn sweet picking or something, right? And you try it once, you work on it a little bit, and it's like, oh man, I can't get this. This is really hard. So I'm just, I'm going to avoid it, right? I'm not going to face the challenge. I'm just going to avoid this. Well, now, any song that has sweet picking in it, any solo, you have to avoid that. You know, it was like, hey, you want to go jam with your friends? Sure, what song are we going to play? Oh, we're going to play, you know, Painkiller by Judas Priest. Oh, what? no, I'm, I can't do that one, you know. I have to avoid that because that has sweet picking in it. It's the same idea. You limit yourself so much when you close those doors, when you shut yourself off and you don't face those challenges. So th think of it that way. In order to, to just have the most options open to you in life, you have to always be willing to face challenges. Okay, so guys, I want to hear what you think about this in the comments section below. And if you guys have any you know, any stories, anything like that you want to share with me and with everybody else, um, you know, put them down there. If you guys have something where, you know, something like that, where it was a challenge, it was like something you wanted to do and you tried it and it didn't work out, but rather than just like, oh, you know, throwing your hands up, it's like, oh, I guess I can't do that. I'm, I'm not going to try that again, right? Instead, you're like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to keep working at it. I'm going to build the skill that I need to overcome this problem and I'm gonna to get to my goal. If you guys have anything like that, I would love to hear about it in the comment section below. And the other thing, guys, just, you know, even if you don't have a story like that in your past, think about your life today and think about if you have anything like that that's currently going on. Maybe there was something that you wanted to achieve, some goal you had you wanted to achieve, or some skill you wanted to develop, and you initially tried it, and then you gave up because because it was too hard or there was some, some problem, some roadblock you went into. Maybe there's something in your life like that and it's worth taking another look at it, right? It's worth trying it again and seeing if you can break through, face that challenge and get to your goal. That's what I want for you guys. All right, guys, thanks a ton for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if you like these positive metal outlook videos, be sure to subscribe, like if you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time.